Hola mis amigos, today I will be making a chocolate chip cookie pizza using my Syllabake silicone mat and I have one of these to give away to one of you. So be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video for the details. So if you've seen my past cookie videos, then you know that I love to bake on a silicone mat. Well, today I will be reviewing Syllabake's silicone pastry mat. And if you remember a few videos ago, I reviewed Syllabake's tea infuser and that giveaway for that tea infuser is still currently running. So be sure to go back and check out that video as well and enter for your chance to win that. So let's take a look at some of the features of the mat. Right away on the right hand side, we can see here that we have some measurement conversions, which I can really appreciate, especially the one here. This is the oven temperature conversion and it does convert the temperatures from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So those of us that like to make different international recipes can easily reference this for the temperature that you use in your country. Also, we have the weight conversions here and down here we have the liquid measurement conversions. On either sides of the mat, we have measurements in inches and in centimeters. And that also goes for the bottom of the mat and here at the top of the mat. So all of our countries are totally covered. This is an international pastry mat. What I really appreciate about this mat is that there are placeholders for your dough. So it takes the worriness out of any measuring the sizes of whatever you're rolling out and whatever you're going to be baking. As you can see here, we do have a placeholder for cookies, which is probably the one that I will be using the most. Here we have a placeholder for a two inch cookie and a three inch cookie. And as you can see, these little placeholders are all over the mat. So since this is also an oven safe mat that we can bake right on, we can roll out our dough and place them right into the placeholders. So we will know the exact sizes that we need. And we don't have to worry about the spacing because they are all evenly spaced out. Also provided is a standard sugar cookie recipe. So you can use this recipe to test out the mat, roll out the sugar cookie dough, cut them out, and use the placeholder to measure and bake your cookies. Also included on the mat is a standard pie dough recipe. So as you can see here in the middle of the mat, there is a large area for you to roll out things like pie dough. So for example, if you have a nine inch pie plate that you are trying to accommodate, all you have to do is roll your dough out and use the measurements provided here accordingly for your pie plate. So that takes all of the guesswork out of the measuring of your dough. One of the biggest things that Syllabake prides themselves on with this specific mat is that when you roll out your dough, you don't have to worry about your pastry mat sliding all over your counter. And that is exactly what I am going to be testing out today. I can already tell without even rolling out dough that that works because this is pretty stuck to my counter. It does have a non-stick surface here on the bottom as well, but it sort of grips very well to your countertop. So I'm not really worried about that at all, but I will be demonstrating that to you today. Here I have some chocolate chip cookie dough, and if you would like to make this recipe, this is the recipe for my soft and chewy chocolate chip cookies. So I will have a link to that video in the description box below. You will definitely want to put this in the refrigerator before attempting to roll it out so that it can be nice and firm and ready for you to roll. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be shooting for a 10 inch cookie pizza. Now keep in mind that this is a chocolate chip cookie dough so I am expecting it to spread a little bit. So it might go just a little bit over the mark for the measurement once it is done. But if you're making you know standard things that you roll out, you don't have to worry about that. Your measurements will be on point. So next I'm going to go ahead and roll this out and test that the mat stays put. Now this is a cookie dough, as you can see, and it is very sticky. So, so far I am very impressed. The 
Pastry mat is not moving a muscle. It is literally staying still right in the center of the counter. So that definitely works. You don't have to worry at all about your pastry mat lifting off and pulling away from the dough. Okay, so I have rolled my dough out to the nine inch mark just to give it some room to spread because again, this is a chocolate chip cookie dough that I know for a fact does spread. So I am giving it that room. And the entire time, as I stated before, while rolling this dough, it did not move at all. The pastry mat is exactly where I put it in the very beginning of this video. It has not slid. It is absolutely a non-skid surface. Also, while rolling it, the dough itself really didn't pull away from the mat at all. So although it is a non-stick mat, it does hold on to your dough. So you don't have to worry about the standard fight between your rolling pin and the mat itself. The dough absolutely did stay put. And trust me when I tell you that this dough is very sticky. So if this dough can be rolled out, then you don't have to worry at all about a simple you know sugar cookie dough or a pie dough it's going to work out pretty nicely for you now what i am going to test is the use of this as a baking mat so i am going to put this on my cookie sheet and i have preheated my oven to 350 degrees and i'm going to be cooking this for about 15 to 20 minutes and then i will allow it to cool and then we will see if this is truly a nonstick surface that we can lift this cookie right off of. So I'm going to pop this in the oven and I will see you soon. All right, everyone, we are out of the oven. And as you can see, I was able to successfully bake right on the pastry mat and the mat is still intact. So it handles the heat just fine. So now time for the moment of truth, testing the nonstick surface. So, I'm able to slide the cookie just fine right off of the pastry mat. And as you can see, there's just a little bit of oil left behind, of course, from the cookie. But other than that, it is absolutely a nonstick surface. So I will have no problem at all washing the mat. My friends over at Syllabic were very generous once again because here I have another Syllabic silicone pastry mat for one of you guys. So I am going to do another giveaway. So for this giveaway, I am going to open it up to everyone worldwide. So you will all qualify to enter for the giveaway for this pastry mat. All that you will need to do is be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment below telling me what your favorite cookie or pastry is. And on January 15th, 2016, I will pick a random comment below and that will be the winner. Also, I will have my discount code in the description box below. That will be good on the Syllabic website. And I believe that discount code is going to be good until sometime in February. So take a look at their website and see if there's anything you like and get yourself a nice discount. Chocolate chip cookie pizza. Enjoy and I'll see you at the dinner table.